Chapter 220-240 Registering in Arm Hands Arm Hands did not divide its members based on cultivation alone. However, since none of these 43 people had ever done anything for the guild, the woman who would register them divided them according to their levels for registration. Soon after they arrived at a room in the back of the building, she told Maximilian to go with her to a glass room where special items could be seen. Entering the room with the woman, Maximilian felt something strange but could do nothing about it. Before he could react, he felt something penetrate one of his hands. Looking at his right hand, he only saw what looked like the tail of a small parasite before it entered his body and made him desperate. Shit! He said as he felt the thing move towards his vital areas. Don't fight it. The woman said as she used a fraction of her aura to make Maximilian pay attention to her and not the worm that had just entered his body. This is the flesh drain. It is a biomechanical parasite capable of collecting your information, transmitting it to our headquarters, tracking you, and much more. When it finishes what it's doing to you now, it will change shape and lodge itself in your forehead. She said as she pointed to his bare head, where there was no hair at all, while there was a snake mark over her one eye. Every member of the arm hands has one of these. Those with the black mark are outer members. Those with the black and red mark, like mine, are inner members. The council members have colorless marks. Do they? Maximilian doubted but said nothing, feeling he could only accept the situation. I won't hide it from you, alien. This parasite will harm you if you become a traitor or don't contribute to the guild. Excess, but it can also benefit you if you are a valuable group member. If your contributions are high and you find yourself in a desperate situation, the parasite may even sacrifice itself to save you from a problem that you could not save yourself from on your own. Don't think of it as just a dangerous sign for you. It's a secret weapon, an ace up your sleeve that you can use if you're smart. I see. I'll keep that in mind, ma'am. Don't call me that. I'm an officer. You should call me that, she said as she looked Maximilian in the eye with her one big eye. All right, officer. So, alien, what's your name? Maximilian. She quickly collected Maximilian's basic information until the flesh drain in the man's body began to emit the primary information about him. She saw all the talent data, age, innate abilities, types of techniques, and in short, all sorts of useful things to define this man's strength and potential. When she finished registering Maximilian, she didn't say anything relevant. She just told him to wait in a room next to the one where the rest of the newly approved guild members were waiting. Amidst this, the parasite did what she said it would and soon formed a mark on Maximilian's forehead resembling a snake tattoo. That was painful to him, enough to make him momentarily horrified. After a few minutes, it was Minos's turn to register leaving only Ruth to complete the process of officially joining the organization. He went through the same thing as the 41 people who came before him, having to accept that a parasite was entering his body, even against his will. After answering a few questions from the one-eyed woman, she saw the data emitted by the parasite and couldn't help but look at Minos differently than the others. Are you really from the same place as those other people from the spiritual world? She didn't believe what Minos had told her because she saw information about this guy's body that contradicted the data of the more than ten people from the spiritual world who had passed by before him. Minos looked like an aberration compared to those individuals. His skeleton was integrated with the wings on his back, so he no longer looked like an ordinary human. At the same time, the way Minos had cultivated immortal energy and then benefited from the Wii. Enyis on his back had made his essence very different from that of spiritual world humans. His talent was far greater than even the most talented and strongest of the group, while all of his other characteristics differed from those of his fellow mortals. Yes, I was born and raised in the spiritual world, Minos replied, feeling the discomfort caused by the parasite in his body. Are you just a warrior? She asked him as she turned her eyes to his dice, where she could see a hexagonal graph of how strong his skills were for each type of thing. Normally, you would have balanced dice, with one skill being slightly stronger than the others. But Minos's graph looked like a triangle with a strong focus on combat areas. 
Yes, I've been a warrior all my life. She then used what looked like a stamp and marked Minos analysis, giving him the designation that would benefit him the most. As she handed him his identification, she looked at him momentarily, sensing that she would hear from him in the future. When you become a sovereign, come to me. I'll help you. That? He hesitated when he heard that, but soon felt a sharp pain in his forehead and brought his hands to that part of his body. Go on. Don't think too much about it now. Can't you help me now? He asked. No, you have nothing to offer me now. She laughed, but said something of value to him. Some of your doubts will be resolved very quickly, Minos. You should go. Your new boss will now introduce you to some of the rules and conventions of our organization. Follow his instructions, and you'll soon have a good understanding of your actual situation. She said as she used her aura to help him leave the glass room before calling Ruth, the last of the 43 new Armhands members to register with the guild today. With Ruth's test and the mark she would receive in the next few moments, the entire group of 43 would soon return with the furry level 115 alien who had commanded their selection. From that day forward, they would be members of the Arm Hands. Chapter 2241, Arm Hands Hierarchy When all the new members of the Arm Hands were in the waiting room where Maximilian had been the first to wait, the chief examiner of the just-completed selection entered the room alone. Well, from now on, you're under my responsibility. So let's start with a short introduction, said the furry level 105 individual. My name is Rhett. As you might have guessed, I'm an internal guild member. He spoke, showing the red and black snake mark on his hairy head. In arm hands, external members have few leadership responsibilities. With rare exceptions, you'll mostly be working under someone else's command. Two types of guild members will usually be in charge of you. One is me and the other will be the member responsible for you in special activities. Pointing to the alchemist in Minos's group, he said, This alien is an alchemist, so he'll work with other alchemists in the guild, and another internal guild member will stay with him under their control group. Some of you have special skills like this alchemist, so you'll have another boss besides me. But make no mistake, you owe me the utmost respect and obedience. If the day comes that you have to choose between obeying me and another boss, come to me, and I'll resolve it. But don't worry about guild members trying to make trouble for you and putting you in difficult situations. That's not going to happen. None of the internal members have any interest in interacting with mere external members, even those who have potential. He looked at Minos as he said this. Any kind of problem you'll have will be with others of the same status as you, in other words, external members. But even among external members, you won't be equal. In arm hands, we have a complex command hierarchy with 10 different levels. As I said, your level of cultivation isn't everything. This hierarchy doesn't just depend on your cultivation level. The lowest level in our hierarchy is the recruit level. Right now, you are all recruits, and you will remain recruits until you meet the requirements to become rank-and-file soldiers. After that, you will work towards becoming elite soldiers, and the most talented among you will soon become officers. The first officer's level is junior, followed by intermediate, and then senior. Above them are those with the rank of general, whom the chief commander oversees. There is only one chief commander in the entire guild, and it is not the highest rank. Above the chief commander are the elders of the council and the supreme leader of the guild. I'm a junior officer, while the woman who collected your data is an intermediate officer. Minus was interested in hearing this and noticed that someone with a good position in the guild had promised to help him. He didn't like the situation he was in. Yet, he couldn't leave just because he didn't want to be there. He accepted his new situation and thought of a way to leave this place. I will improve my position and gain this person's favor to save my companions from the blue field and the speckled bear wilds. Rhett continued to speak. Among the external members of the sect, there are three ranks. They are recruits, rank-and-file soldiers, and elite soldiers. Internal members are classified between junior officers and senior officers. From the rank of general, only members of the council can attain these ranks. In short, the chief commander is the leader of everyone below him and must obey only the elders and the supreme leader. 
He's not the guild's leader, but he does run the guild most of the time. So don't underestimate him. You won't run into him often, but be on your guard. In any case, he usually only deals with generals. Each general has a group of officers of the three ranks under their command and usually has secretaries of the rank of senior officer who give orders to lower-ranking officers on simpler matters. Soldiers and recruits are led by junior officers and, in rare cases, intermediate officers. A recruit doesn't have to take orders from a soldier but must respect them. You are also required to give priority to soldiers in all matters. When faced with a teamwork situation, you will choose your responsibilities according to your rank or the choice of the junior officer in charge of you. In short, staying out of trouble with your superiors is not hard. Just follow the guild rules and don't disrespect your superiors. If you do that, you'll have a good time here. He finished the basic explanation of this place before using a spatial storage item to summon several small purple crystals. Use this to learn the rules of the guild. It will save you headaches and wasted time. He handed these crystals to each of the 4043 people in front of him. When these recruits realized that they had to do this now, they immediately used the crystals in the same way that one might use a language crystal. But it was much easier than a language crystal. In just two minutes, everyone there had learned the rules of Armhand's guild. Minos raised a hand and said, The intermediate officer who collected our data said that each of us would be assigned to a function that correlated with our talents. That's what I'm going to talk about now, Rhett said calmly, before activating a device on his right wrist, and a screen with the data of this group appeared for him. Then he began to call these beings by their names first calling the individuals who had nothing to do with Minos's group and giving them their orders. He gave each of them different locations to search later and show their IDs. This would lead them to the positions they would fill in that place starting the next day. After calling all the aliens not connected to Minos, he told them all, From now on, I can come to you any time to check on your progress individually or give you orders. Although some of you will be alchemists, blacksmiths, etc., everyone here is ultimately an arm hands warrior. In any case, we will meet every 15 days for a more relaxed follow-up. You'll get the meeting place and date soon. That's all. You're free for today. The group that had already received their instructions left shortly thereafter, leaving only Minos's group behind. Rhett then said to Minos's group, Before I give you instructions, we must clarify the situation with your group. You didn't just try to join us, you were invited into our group, and there are advantages to being invited to arm hands. 